Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. Today is the second video from my Wing Chun Secret series. Don't forget this series will consist of five videos. So today we're talking about punches, the secret behind the Wing Chun punch. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so the secret to Wing Chun punches is that number one, you need to clench your fist properly and whenever you execute these punches, you want to use the whole body behind every punch. That's the only way you're gonna generate a lot of power. We like to call it explosive power. When you clench a fist, roll and lock, okay? The fist has to be done always with just a tight fist, nice and strong. Same with the wrist. I know there are a lot of people out there that preach having the hand loose before you hit the target. I'm not one of them because I've been in you know, plenty of situations where either sparring or you, know, you, you are testing your skills with other people, you need to defend yourself and you notice that anytime you punch, the target is always moving. Okay, it's moving away from you, it's moving into you. The other person's also trying to hit you. So you can't think of having the target in a specific spot where you're gonna hit it when you feel like it or when you think it's just the right time to clench your fist. So if you want to be effective and not risk injuring yourself, clench your fist. You don't have to keep it super tight back here, but still keep it clenched. So then when you're launching it, if the target for whatever reason moved into you, it's nice and strong and you won't hurt your hand. Many people think that in Wing Chun we only have the vertical punch, right? As in the thrusting punch. And yes, that is one of our main techniques, but you will find in our Wing Chun forms many different punches. You will find, you know, the thrusting punch, but then you'll find also hooks and uppercuts and back fists. So if you know how to execute and practice the techniques correctly from the forms, you'll see that we have many different Wing Chun punches. So when working on your punch, number one, as I said, you want to connect the whole body behind it. Number two, you want to exhale whenever you are executing the punch, okay? Especially if you're using many different techniques in a sequence, you don't want to run out of breath, okay? One thing you don't wanna do is hold your breath. When I'm teaching my class, I'm always looking at if they are breathing when executing their punches. Because a lot of people get into the habit of when they're about to do the technique, and then they hold their breath and they kind of breathe out once they're done. So don't do that, breathe out on every punch, exhale. If you want to on every punch, you can do that, so that will help you remind yourself basically to breathe out when you're executing the technique. Now. I will show you a few different ways you can practice your Wing Chun punches, either on a wall bag, a makiwara, a tire dummy, or a punching bag. And also I'll show you how you can practice these techniques with a training partner holding some focus mitts for you. Now, when striking something like a striking board or a wall bag, tire dummy, or a punching bag, be smart with your training. So that means if you have never done something like this before, just start gradually. Okay, you don't wanna go and be a hero and just start whacking it as hard as you can and hurt yourself. When punching, make sure you emphasize on pushing the bottom three knuckles. Now when you hit, of course, you're gonna make impact with all four of them, but the main idea is for you to thrust the bottom three so that way you can keep a nice strong vertical punch.
Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Make sure you incorporate these elements to your own training and you can take your Wing Chun punches to the next level. For our third video next week, I'll be discussing the secret behind Wing Chun kicks. So make sure you stay tuned. If you like today's video, click on the like button, share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We've got heaps of different videos that you can check out, tutorials, demos, and also every two weeks I'm posting a new episode from my Wing Chun by Design podcast. Guys, don't forget, I've got my online academy where you can check out my free introductory applied Wing Chun course, which is umauniversity.com.au. So guys, that's it for today. I'll see you next week.